Hey everybody, it's Leah at Cargo, and today we're going to go through workflow. Workflow is how you get your dispatches. So we're going to touch workflow, and available is the tab that will show you if you have any pre-plans. Right now, I have one showing under active, so I'm going to touch active, and this is going to show me an overview of my current load assignment. So it starts at Claremont, and it goes to Claremont. I'm not going far. Total distance of one mile and how many stops. So to get started, we're going to click view. So this is telling me I need to go to cargo transporters to pick up the load. It's here on the yard. So this tells you where you're going, how many steps it's going to take for you to complete this. And I can hit preview route or navigate to know how to get there if I'm getting to a shipper. So the first thing it's going to say, task number one, dispatch and load acceptance. Have you accepted the load? Yes, I do accept it. Scroll up, pre-trip, have you performed your DVI or your pre-trip inspection? I'm going to say yes. Are you picking up a trailer during this leg? I'm going to say no right now. And sign your driver code. So once you type in your driver code, not sure if this will be pre-populated for you, but if not, just type in your driver code. Again, I can click done or the back button to make my keyboard go away and click submit. Success, I've done task number one. So it's not going to let you skip past something that you need to do to get to something else. So here I'm at task number two, have you arrived? This is my arrival call. Arrived at shipper, here's my date and my time. Submit. Two tasks are done. Now I need to do my loaded call. So if you're dropping a trailer, bringing an empty to leave where you're picking up one, you can type that in there. This is gonna be the trailer number it's hooked to, my bill of lading number, my PO number, everything that I know is in there. Everything that is preset to be in that load or information is already there. Please confirm these were completed. Have you signed your bills? Yes. Did you put your load number on your bills? Yes. Now you do have to complete a weight calculation. So type in the bill of lading, steer, and drive weights that you know. Go ahead and type those in. Right now I'm going to type in something random. But you need to enter all the, all the weights as you know them and click submit. And now it's going to show a little green line that says complete. So finish answering these questions. Have you applied the seal to the trailer? Have you put the seal number on the bills? Have you noted the times in and out on the bills? Yes. If you have any issues or questions answering any of those, call in. And I'm going to click submit. Do I want to add this load to my logs? Yes. We want to add this information to our logs. So on the hours of service video, you'll see there's a tab that says load and that has your load information on it. That's called form and manner. Those are things that have to be on your log as far as load number, trailer number. So we're going to say yes, save load. And now we're done. We're done with our pickup. So now we can scroll down and see where we're going. And I can click preview route and it's going to show me how to get there. We need to click on Comscope, click on our next section and do preview route. And it's going to show me a map in PSNAV, a route of how to get there. So I can click navigate and it'll take me there. Today I'm going to click close. Once I get there, have you arrived? Yes, submit. Some places do have geofencing, so once you arrive it may already know that and do this for you, but otherwise you need to answer the question. Now here's your empty call. Live unload, is it a live unload? Yes or no? Did you drop your trailer? Did you pick up a trailer? Oh, do you have any OS&Ds? Who is the person signing for your bills? Just type in something random. And at this point, it's going to ask for you to scan your bills. After you type in who signed them, once you click on Drive CT, that's going to open the Drive CT app. You can still use it from your phone or you can use this as your camera and take pictures of your bills. So click on Drive CT there, actually go scan your bills, and then you can come back to this screen and finish the rest. Did you put the load number on the bills? Did you scan your bills? Did you note the time and date? Did you mark them seals intact? Yes, submit. Now I've done my empty call and I'm finished. It's complete. You can see I got a notification that this job has been removed and it's now under the completed tab. So I can go back in and see all the jobs that I've completed. 
I can edit, I can't edit them, I can go in and look at them and see where I went, what I did, what my load number was, what my trailer number was, but I cannot edit anything. They're just showing under complete. The only thing you need to know if you are bringing something to the yard or dropping it and not completing that load, do as many steps as you can get through. If you're bringing it here but you're not going to deliver it, you need to complete a macro 10 and that's going to be dropping it here on the yard. So we'll touch our home button. We're going to go to our form messages where our backers were and do that macro 10 like you would normally do. And once you note that you've dropped that trailer, then your dispatcher here in the back office will empty out that order for you and you'll get that same message that says that your load has been completed and that'll take it off and put it under complete. That ends the, ends the order here and ends your part of it. If you have any questions, please feel free to call into your fleet leader.